How's it going everyone? It's Will VS93 here and uh, I'm sorry for not being around as much as I used to be. It's just that, you know, the school year is almost ending and I've just been trying to get my grades. You know, just trying to end the year with, you know, pretty good grades. Uh, it's been a struggle so far, but I'll pull through. And plus exams are coming up too, so... Yeah, I'm gonna be... Not, um, yeah, I think you guys get it. <laughs> But I promise, once after, once exams in the school year is over and summer is here, I'll probably be uploading a lot more frequently. All right, so today we're gonna be having a look at another eight-inch figure. So let's pull him out. The Bandai Standard Godzilla 2004. Now this Godzilla suit was first used and only used in Godzilla Final Wars. Now, you either love or you hate Godzilla Final Wars. Um, I thought the movie was okay. I, I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't call it really my favorite. Hopefully I didn't disappoint any of you by that. But I, di I did like the suit from it. Like I said in my top 5 suits video, um, if I made a top 10 favorite Godzilla suits video, he would probably be in at number 7. Number 6 would probably have to be like Godzilla 75. Alright, so let's get into detail for this awesome figure. Detail is really nicely done on this figure. Bandai did a really nice job sculpting this guy. You see all his skin bumps are nicely molded. Let's bring you guys closer. Really nicely sculpted on the uh, the breastplate. Toenails. Claws look really menacing looking, like you can just scratch, like scratch the hell out of another monster. And of course, there's his face. He has orange eyes. Which I think his eyes were orange in the movie. So that's really nice. Um, the teeth aren't individually sculpted, but it doesn't bother me too much. They're nicely painted. So yeah. Oh, and before I forget, here's his tag. Really nice picture of of Godzilla from the movie. Is the inside of the tag? Oops, gone blurry. Focus, focus. Should be camera. Yeah, so here's the tag. Um, oh, there we go. So this Godzilla is apparently a hundred meters. So he's pretty much the same size as the Heisei Godzilla. Here's the the company details. And here's hey, it's the same picture. It's also the same picture on the back too. And there's the gold 2004 sticker. Pretty nice tag. I do like the look of the Moon Monster series tags. I like it a little bit more than the Toho Kaiju series tags. And I sure like these tags a lot more than the repaint series. You know the one with the pink border. Yeah, I prefer tags like uh, these tags with no border. <laughs> Alright, so, articulation for this figure, Godzilla had articulation in the head, uh, articulation in the arms, but they can't go, they cannot go 360 because, yeah, the body gets in the way. <laughs> this arm too. He has articulation in his legs, and articulation in the tail. And there's also a joint right here in the tail. So articulation of this guy is pretty good. And they, the joints do move pretty smoothly, so he's good for stop motion. Okay, so now let's go on to sizing. Now, the only 8-inch monster that I have available on me right now is my 8-inch drill arm cube. Now, as you can see, Q is... Actually, no, I think they're both the same size. 
adjust a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty much the same size. Um, now, this Godzilla is from a different um, continuity than Kiru. Uh, I believe Kiru was 60 meters and the Godzilla in Tokyo SOS was 55. So this wouldn't really work for continuity, but if you just want to do a movie for fun, then these two will probably look pretty good together. But you know, this Godzilla, you know, different continuity, so technically he should be like twice as big, like half as big as Kiru. No, um, <laughs> that didn't come out wrong. He should be like taller than Kiru. But you know, if, just, if you don't care about sizing, then if you don't care about being accurate with sizes, then this would look really good. Have Kiru, you know, drill Godzilla in his breast. <laughs> Okay guys, uh, sorry for randomly cu uh, cutting the video right there, um, I just had to go do something. Alright, so I believe we were on sizing, and I already scaled him up with Kiru, so let's bring in, let me just show off the 6 inch version. Yeah, they're pretty much the exact same figure, just, you know, different size. Let's bring in the Bandai Creation version. Which, this was actually a pretty nice figure. It's a lot better than the, um, 10-inch version, I'll say that. Alright, and finally, let's bring in Godzilla Jr. Now, even though these two are from different continuities, I'm bringing in Godzilla Jr. because these two figures actually do scale up pretty good together. Jr.'s 50 meters. This, got, this Godzilla is 100 meters, just like the one in the Heisei series. So yeah, and also the reason why I decided to bring Junior is because if you guys know Dead uh, Deadzilla, he's using these two figures in his new movie Godzilla Forever, and he's also using them in the prequel Godzilla Forever: The Rise of Darkness, which I highly recommend you guys go check out. It's really awesome. If you love fan movies with stop motion, definitely go check out um, Dead Dead. <laughs> Definitely go check out Deadzilla. He's really awesome. His videos are really high up there. They're amazing. Let's just say that. <laughs> so if you want to go check out one of his movies, click on Godzilla right now. Click Godzilla and it'll take you to his channel. Alright, so let's take Junior out of here. Now finally, rarity for this figure. Let's bring the tag real fast. Uh, I got mine off this site for $35 so yeah you know, if you want this figure I would recommend going to eBay uh, he shouldn't really be that hard to find or maybe he could be because you know he is an 8 inch figure I mean the 6 inch one is like really easy to find so if you're looking for one um, I would definitely recommend eBay he might go at a price of like 30 to $40 somewhere in that range I got mine for 35 Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this toy review, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for today, and I'll see you next time, probably over this, probably sometime, some, uh, I don't know, <laughs> alright, later.